Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the 1v1 Fight Gear Pro Trainer Elite Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Alright guys, so today I'm doing a close-up weigh-in and review on the 1v1 Fight Gear Pro Trainer Elite Boxing Gloves. I got mine in 16 ounce lace-ups in this metallic silver colorway. These gloves are handmade here in the United States and the gloves utilize Italian leather. So the leather is upgraded and I think that's kind of an evolution of 1v1 Fight Gear products over the years. I've done reviews on their gear in the past and this is pretty much the best revision and best version of this model of glove uh, so far, which I could definitely appreciate. You can see just looking at the gloves, in my opinion, there's some inspiration from uh, the winning MS series gloves in terms of the shape and the look of the glove, but that's pretty much where it ends. Everything else about this glove um, is pretty proprietary in terms of the kind of padding, the leather, and just some of the design cues with this glove. So looking at it, you have this Italian leather that's really nice and thick. Uh, the metallic silver, I'd say, has a nice shine to it, but it's not obnox obnoxiously like metallic. There's some gloves that you get are metallic, and they're just it's almost like they they have so much shine to them that they they can blind you. So if you're outside, you would just be like, damn, it's like a mirror, uh, and the light bouncing off of it. And you can see here it has a good uh, reflection to it, but not to the point to where it is ob obnoxious. Um, they utilize multi-layer foam padding uh, with these gloves. Uh, which I'd say is a little more on the medium to dense side um, and are really good for really anything in the gym. Um, you can get some good sparring in with these, uh, hit the bag, the heavy bag with them, do the mitts, whatever it may be. And the foam uh, definitely lends itself to give you some good, some good protection as, as well as good pop. So a good blend in terms of the type of foam that's utilized. Um, a leather attached thumb that's nice and thick right there. You have the 1B logo, 1, 1B1 logo on the back of the glove, nothing too crazy there. Um, you also have the wrist support, which you have, um, I'd say about a little over an inch on the back of the wrist. And you can see that the stitching is done nicely to where this is all one piece of, of padding. And the way it's stitched in there is to contain that, but it doesn't go all the way through to where you're separating the foam. So that's a really nice touch. Um, these are little things that you look for. If you go onto the 1B1 website, Jason explains it much better in terms of uh, workmanship when it comes to a pair of boxing gloves and you can really educate yourself. And that includes myself. I mean, there's a lot that I didn't know that I had to learn over the years and pick up on. And, and he does a great job explaining that. So if you guys have extra time, just check out the website. Even if you're not looking to purchase gloves um, and you're just interested in boxing gloves and how they're made, he has some really great videos on there as well as some information that will give you some good education on gloves and what to look for so uh you have about i'd say three quarters of inch of padding on the inside of the wrist that goes up to where the piping is at um, same thing on the outside right here comes comes up to the the stitching double stitching throughout uh, nice long black laces that are really nice quality really similar to what you would find on some um, nike shoes or some of the brand name shoes you get out there it doesn't feel cheap um, nice satin liner on the inside that has a really nice silky smooth feel to it uh, you also have the warning and weight tag in here uh, one thing i noticed with these gloves is that i don't think it came with the made in usa tag they typically do but maybe jason is switching it up and not putting it in there but all my other 1v1 gloves had the uh, made in usa uh, tag on the inside but whatever it is what it is uh, silver piping you also have uh, a grip bar. Now this is an area that I was kind of concerned with. There's one thing you'll notice on both gloves is that the grip bar kind of ends like three quarters of the way and it's empty right here. And I don't know if that's by design. I I'm assuming it is because I know the attention to detail Jason puts in these gloves and he wouldn't just end it right there for no reason. So what I'm thinking is, and you can see it's on both gloves where the grip bar goes all the way here and it just kind of stops, is when, you're, when you put these gloves on and you make a fist, one thing I noticed is that with this being a little empty on this edge, it gives you a little bit more flexibility to close your hand. 
So that's my assumption on why that was done. Maybe Jason can, can, can chime in, but you can see it's like a three quarters grip bar rather than having to go to the outside edge. So uh, that's my assumption with that. Uh, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but we'll find out. So that, that's what I saw there. And again, you can see the gloves next to each other. Um, so the beautiful looking gloves. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale, see how much these weigh. They're supposed to be 16 ounces, so hopefully they are true to weight especially for how much these cost. You would expect basically perfection or close to it. So these are at 15.7, so pretty close to being at 16 ounces, so almost right on the dot, 15.8, okay? And the left glove is right at 15.8. So they're exactly on weight with each other and pretty much 16 ounces, so that's great to see. Let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the 1v1 Fight Gear Pro Trainer Elite Boxing Gloves. I got mine in 16 ounce lace-ups in this metallic silver colorway. You can also get this in a Velcro closure, but you're a little bit more limited to the stock colors that are offered um, on the website. So uh, to me, the lace-ups are the way to go. It's more of the kind of the, the bread and butter of the 1v1 line. Uh, so you have more colorways, stock wives uh, that you can choose from, and then you can also go custom if you decided to do that. Um, sizing wise, you can go anywhere between 10 to 20 ounces. So just depending on the training you're doing, obviously they'll dictate uh, the size of glove that you end up getting. I did decide to go with 16 because I can virtually use 16 ounces for everything in the gym, sparring, hitting the mitts, doing bag work, whatever it may be. Now, 1v1 Fight Gear is a veteran owned business uh, based out of Florida here in the United States. Uh, the gloves are handmade here in the United States, which is great. Um, one thing that I really like about what 1v1 is doing is that over the years, the Pro Trainer Elite, which has been kind of their main model, has really evolved. Um, I did a review on the PTE models, uh, model of gloves a couple years ago. And uh, for those of you who have been a subscriber to my channel for a long time, you guys may, may or may not remember it. You have to kind of go far back in the, the memory bank, but they were this copper colored glove. Uh, the, the leather was different. The ergonomics of the gloves are actually different as well. Uh, but really nice gloves. But you can definitely tell like over the years, Jason has really put a lot of thought into evolving just the way the gloves feel on your hand, the kind of foam that's being used, the look of the glove, you know, the thickness of the piping, just little details here and there that have, have really kind of came to what you see here with this model. I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure, you know, going forward, he'll continue to make little improvements, but to me, these are the best version of the PTEs today, and I'll tell you guys why uh, in this review. So looking at it, um, one thing I mentioned earlier in the close-up is that it, it definitely has some winning MS look to it, very inspired by that Japanese look with the thumb and the overall shape. The size of the glove is almost identical. So if you do have a pair of like MS, uh, is it the MS 600s, I believe, are the 16 ounces? I believe those are the 16 ounces. Anyhow, um, you can put them next to these gloves and they're pretty close in shape and size. Um, the metallic silver on here and the leather, the leather here that they use is Italian leather. So that's definitely a big upgrade uh, in terms of the quality. It's, it's much thicker. Um, and one thing I noticed about the metallic on here is that it hasn't faded as quickly as some of the other metallic gloves I've had. I'm waiting for it to happen, trust me, because I feel like metallics just don't last as long as uh, solid color gloves, like the dye and the metallics. But um, on the strike surface here is actually held up pretty well. I mean, I wipe off my gloves every time I'm done using them. I have a towel in my gym bag, but you can see there there hasn't been any really any kind of flaking on there. I have a just a little bit of a a scuff right there from using it, but outside of that, it's held up really well. Uh, it utilizes a multi-layer foam padding that has more of a medium to firm density to it, so really good and protective there, but not rock solid. Some gloves you get are just way too hard, like molded foam, and it's just way too solid and doesn't feel like it's uh, broken in at all. You have the black 1v1 logo. You also have the back wrist support. Uh, really nice job with the stitching across the, instead of going all the way across and cutting through the foam, he uses one piece. Uh, that way uh, you get the maximum uh, rigidity with the glove and you can see how well balanced it is. So basically the structure of the glove, almost like your, your back, your spine, it is all one piece and it's, it's done nicely to the fact that you don't have that floppiness you find in some gloves. Uh, you have a little over an inch of padding on the back of the wrist uh, of medium uh, density right there. Uh, same thing on the inside of the wrist too. A little over three quarters of an inch of padding going up there and on that side. Uh, nice silky satin liner on the inside. I showed you guys the tags earlier. 
uh, long black laces that afford you to go around your wrist and to tie and lace up your, your wrist the way you need to. Um, we'll talk about that three quarter grip bar here in a second, the double stitching and the attached thumb. Quality wise, these gloves are fantastic. I mean, honestly, I did not find any flaws with this glove whatsoever. Um, again, the grip, the grip bar is something that hopefully Jason will kind of chime in on because I noticed that it's, it was short on both gloves. And again, I, I think that's by design because you typically don't see, if it was one glove, like the left glove that was missing a piece of the grip bar, then I'd be like, all right, there's obviously uh, some quality control issues there, but both gloves have it. So I'm assuming that is by design. But you can see the stitching is done nicely where the index finger meets the thumb. No imperfections with the, with the foam. The metallic looks great on the leather. Um, the outside edges look really good. Everything's rolled and tucked in nicely. The stitching is done very clean. Uh, the logo is done really nicely, symmetrical. Uh, one thing is there's not too much marketing on this glove. You don't have a bunch of logos splashed all over the glove and on the thumb. So I do appreciate the simplicity of that. You know, the weight was on point. It was just maybe, what, 0.2? ounces underweight so pretty much negligible you wouldn't feel that when you put these gloves on they would feel like a 16 ounce glove and holding it in my hand it definitely feels that way feeling doing the holding test if you want to call it uh you can see the stitching is done leather's tucked in nicely the leather has a really nice smell one thing i like about the leather he uses he utilizes is it's not too um it doesn't have like that super chemical aroma to it which i i like because sometimes you have that in gloves and you put them in your gym bag and you open your bag and it it smells like a factory when you open your bag up. Um, piping looks really nice. One thing about the piping he utilizes as well is that it's much thicker and it just feels more rugged, more durable. It's not thin. So I love the piping he, uses, he, he utilizes right there. Uh, laces look good. Again, stitching pattern looks great. Piping looks good as well. So overall, just a, a fantastic crafted glove. There you go. Comfort of the glove has improved. From previous versions uh, one thing to note is that these are definitely more on the snug side so for a 16 ounce glove with my hand wraps on I was actually using my fortress um, t1 wraps with these and it was a really snug fit so if you have longer fingers or fatter hands um, definitely go with like an 18 or maybe the 20 ounce version to accommodate your hands because with these 16s they definitely are snug but there's also a break-in period uh, one thing I like about the inner foam that is against your hand is that over time, it kind of conforms to the shape of your hand like a glove should. Uh, you also have like a dual grip bar system. So you have this grip bar here, and then on the inside, you can't see it. It's like a neoprene. Neoprene, when I see a neoprene, I, that's like the material they use in like surfing or, or wetsuits, that same kind of feel. So if you guys are trying to figure out what, hey, what the hell does he mean by neoprene, uh, just go look up like wetsuits or a surfing, uh, surf, you know, surfing suit, the ones that they wear on the ocean, and that's that same kind of material. So you kind of get that feel for it right here in the finger compartment. So you get a really nice, deep uh, finger compartment right there so you can make an excellent fist and your, your fingers over time kind of make an imprint. Uh, the thumb feels really good as well. I feel like that's improved to where when you crimp down and make a fist or curl your fingers and make a fist, it doesn't pull down on the tip of the thumb and you have enough room and clearance and a good amount of padding right there to keep your, your thumb stabilized and not let it wiggle around. So that feels good. And wrist support feels really good, proportionate to the rest of the glove. Um, you can see it has a little bit of a taper to it, but the glove is not overly large and has a more compact feel right there. Um, it does take a little bit of a breaking in period. It's not too bad. I mean, the gloves came, uh, I'd say medium broken in at first, uh, but using this a little bit more, you'll be able to see that the gloves can open uh, open and close with relative ease. So it's not by any means an overly stiff glove, uh, but overall comfort is definitely there. The liner feels really good and comfortable. No issues with bunching up, no issues with my fingers crowding. Um, I've mentioned in, in some other boxing glove review videos where sometimes the finger compartment, you can see the shape of it kind of, instead of it kind of rounding, rounding out and kind of giving you a little bit more uh, of a horizontal room inside the finger compartment, it just kind of rounds out too much and it ends up kind of doing one of those with your fingers and you feel once you start hitting the bag and the mitts, you can't really tell when the gloves are on, but once you start using them, that's when you start noticing because your, your hands start to shift a little bit uh, when you use a glove, when you make contact, throw a hook, you throw an uppercut, you throw your jab, you might land on this side. Maybe one time you land on this side and that's when you'll notice there's a little bit of shift, shifting and that might cause discomfort. 
in this finger area and, and I, I didn't have any issues with that. So both the thumb um, and the hand compartment feel really nice. Uh, protection and performance, these gloves to me, again, uh, using the bar analogy, bars right in the middle and you know, being a puncher's gloves all the way to the left, all the way to the right is like a super protective bag glove. I'd say it's a little bit more on the protective side. And then once you start breaking it, it in kind of goes back towards the middle. And I feel like that's how this glove is. Uh, uses that multi thumb pad. So you get great pop out of the glove, uh, but the foam doesn't give. So you get good amount of shock absorption and protection, but you can definitely tell that you landed a really clean shot, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, like if you land a good hook to the body, you get that really nice popping feeling. Um, and the surface does a good job of staying pretty flat when you land on it, so you don't have any glancing blows or feel like uh, the gloves kind of roll off the shot. So I definitely like that and the fact that uh, you get a good contacted feeling with this gloves and the longevity of the foam, the quality should last you a really long time, if not years. Cost-wise, these gloves, are definitely on the premium end. These are $450, custom start at $600. So there's gonna be definitely a lot of thinking before you buy this type of glove. And that really goes for any of the more expensive premium brands, 1v1, Winning, Grant, um, Fly, you name it. You know, anytime you're dropping $400 on a, for a pair of boxing gloves, for, the mo for most of us, there's gonna be a lot of thinking about that. And you'll sit there and compare it to other gloves that are cheaper, and say, well, why am I gonna spend 450? I can get two pairs of these, or I can get three pairs of these, or I can get two pairs of these gloves and get me a pair of shoes. And I get it, I do the same thing with the kind of trying to rationalize why the hell I'm dropping $450 on a pair of gloves. And the best thing, the best way to tell you is this, if, if you're looking for a glove that you wanna use it for everything in the gym, you just want one pair of gloves that'll last you a long time. Budget-wise, you don't mind spending that much for gloves, you can you can accommodate that in your finances, only you know that, only you know your financial situation. So from there, you can use that education to really make that decision on whether it's right for you. Do I think they're worth $450? I think so. Um, just because of the quality of the gloves, the kind of padding, the craftsmanship is great, um, and you have really good, you know, different variation of colorways, different sizes. Uh, but it really is up to you. I mean, it's it's one of those, you know, I guess you could say apples to oranges in a sense. It's like designer shoes. You can pay $400 for a pair of Jordans or you can go to, you know, uh, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods and get yourself a $50 pair of Nikes. I mean, they essentially do the same thing. They get you from point A to point B walking with shoes over your feet, uh, but one is just more expensive. So. It just really depends on your budget and that's the best way to give it to you guys and tell you what my thoughts are on that. I think they're worth the $450, uh, but it's one of those gloves that I would save up for. And then if you're looking to get an all around great glove, then then you know go ahead and purchase these and then that'll be the end all for, your, uh, for the gloves that you wanna use and train with. So that's my thoughts on that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these 1v1 PTE boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.